Hi everyone, it's Graham again and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with October's pick from my TBR jar. We're getting there, we're getting to the end. Um, I can see that there are only, how many? Well, there are clearly three left, but it looks like a lot more from where I'm sitting. But anyway, yeah. So <laughs> without much further ado, let's get into the pick. So we'll give it a shake like always and pop it open and then we'll give it another sort of twizzle around. Twizzle around, can we call it that? Yeah, right, so I have it here. So we'll close this up and pop that there. And here we go, okay. So what are we gonna be reading? So I have never read anything apart from some poetry, I think, by this person. But apparently I'm going to be reading Kim by Rudyard Kipling. Um, now I believe that the rules <laughs> were no chunky books and I think this is a fairly chunky book so there's a chance that I may read this via audiobook um, but we shall see. But yeah, let me go and get the book and uh, yeah. <laughs> so here we are, Kim by Rudyard Kipling. I have no idea what this is about. Um, I think it's set in India and uh, clearly there is a young boy sitting on an elephant. Um, but yeah, um, Rudyard Kipling is um, very uh, well respected and uh, his books are still in print. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see. Is there a little bit of uh, a bit of information? Okay, no. Um, right. I'll read you like the first couple of paragraphs and we'll see if that gives us a taster. Chapter one. O ye who tread the narrow way by Tophet flare to judgment day, be gentle when the heathen pray to Buddha at Kamakura. So that's Buddha at Kamakura. He sat in defiance of municipal orders astride the gun Zam Zama on her brick platform opposite the old Ajib Gur, the Wonder House, as the natives call the Lahore Museum, who hold Zamzama, that fire-breathing dragon, hold the Punjab, for the great green bronze piece is always first of the conqueror's loot. There was some justification for Kim. He had kicked Lala Dinanath's boy off the trunnions since the English held the Punjab and Kim was English, though he was burned black as any native, though he spoke the vernacular by preference and his mother tongue in a clipped uncertain sing-song, though he consorted on terms of perfect equality with the small boys of the bazaar, Kim was white, a poor white of the very poorest. So yeah, um, okay, I think I'll probably read this via audiobook. Um, because this, to me, is a chunky book. Um, and yeah, uh, there we go. So yeah, October's pick is Kim by Rudyard Kipling. So that's um, that's what I shall be reading towards the end of Spooky Month. Um, whatever you're doing, <laughs> I hope you have so much fun doing it. Whatever you're reading, I hope you love it. Stay fabulous, be amazing, be yourself, stay safe. And I'll see you again soon for another video. Bye-bye. So here we are, Kim by Rudyard Kipling. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Blooper reel right there. <laughs> so here we are, Kim by Rudyard Kipling.